Hello. The question was asked about how I put the nose pieces in the Mimi G style fitted uh, face masks that I make. Uh, for starters, I made a video to show you how I make a filter pocket because this is easiest to do if you've got the filter pocket. If you didn't um, put the filter pocket in, you're going to want to do this step before you uh, finish these edges here. Um, and make those pockets for the uh, elastic to go through and slip it in while it's still open. Um, but I prefer to just put a filter pocket in and put the nose piece in through there. Down in the video description, I'll put a link to the video about making the filter pocket. So anyway, I use these uh, little four inch heavy plastic with wire on both edges um, nose pieces, basically like a really heavy duty twist tie. And down in the description again, I'll put the link to where I get those. So you're going to put it in. And I suppose you could do this really precisely in measuring and marking. Um, it just seems like it takes an awful long time. You put it in and you're going to find about where the middle of it is, about the highest part of the nose. And you're just kind of bending it, feeling it through there, getting that in place. I'm going to start by clipping this end. And I love these little binding clips. I used to do this with pins and they moved, uh, the, the pieces would move so much because it's a, a bent shape. It's really tricky. And so I'm going to put these clips in to kind of hold it in place. Double check, oh, it's not quite centered. I'm going to try it one more time. Just scoot it over. Make sure you get it right up in the nose. I'm feeling the ends to make sure it's centered. Let's try that, see if I got a little closer. It doesn't have to be exact. You can just leave a little um, extra space on the ends to be able to shift it a little bit. So once I've got it about centered and clipped into place, I'm also going to take a pin to mark where I'll be ending. And then what you do, you just sew down a little past this edge turn and this is the tricky part and I have found it works better to do this from the inside. I used to do them from the outside like this. Um, that was a little harder. Doing them from the inside so they're kind of um, concave like that. And just so right along the edge when you hit your pin you have to take off your clips as you go obviously. Here stop just a little past the edge. It's going to end up looking something like this. Again, um, I'm a pretty novice uh, sewist, so these are not perfect, um, but they're good enough. They do the job. And as I said, because you might end up being a little uh, different off of center from your length, just, you know, give yourself a little extra space so that the wearer can kind of adjust it if they want to. So there you have it. That is how you add a nose piece. Um, one, oh, one more thought, um, a person was saying how sometimes they uh, just leave a channel um, or put a sleeve on to insert nose pieces in and take them out um, when they go through the wash. I haven't done that, but I imagine you could just simply sew about a half inch out all the way along from this, this edge right here. You wouldn't want to cross over where the elastic goes through, but start here. So about a half inch out all the way along like that and stop here at the edge of the filter pocket. You could potentially just do that and insert these and take them out. I haven't done it, but if you try that and it works, I'd love to know. Happy sewing.